Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Yua. And in today's video, I'm gonna be trying on, for the very first time, the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. So this is Maybelline's latest liquid foundation release. So if you'd like to see me try it on and see my thoughts and basically my first impressions on this foundation, please keep watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do post weekly beauty, fashion, lifestyle videos. So if you're interested, do subscribe. Also, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. All right, let's get started. So if you didn't know, Maybelline released a new liquid foundation. This is called the Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. It comes with hyaluronic acid, which is supposed to help with skincare, supposed to help with keeping and holding on to that natural moisture in your skin. And they do have 14 different color shade range to choose from. I did purchase mine directly off the Ulta website. So I do know for sure that it is available. This foundation is available on the Ulta website. And it looks like there are 14 foundations to choose from. And from Ulta, I did purchase this for $12.99. So that's pretty much where you can find it right now. I'm not sure where else you can find it. Of course, I'm pretty sure you can find it also on the Maybelline website as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and read you guys some of the benefits, claims on the liquid foundation, and I'm reading off straight from the Ulta website. So this says that it's supposed to be an experienced medium, radiant coverage for your skin. It says that it's supposed to have hyaluronic acid, collagen, and it moisturizes the skin and gives a natural look. It also delivers 12 hours of hydration. And this formula, it says, comes in 20 different shades, but I can only see 14. This would be a medium coverage foundation for normal to dry skin. So if you have oily skin, you may want to steer away from this. And it delivers a radiance that glows. Yeah, so $12.99. So it's, a, it's not the cheapest, of course, foundation I've ever tried. So just a little bit about the bottle itself. It is that typical glass bottle that comes in liquid foundations. It is one fluid ounce, so that's pretty standard for any liquid foundation right now. And then it does come with a pump, so that's pretty nice. And it is one fluid ounce. Now, typically when I try foundations on for the first time, I'm not really sure how it's gonna really work with my skin. In case you're curious or you don't already know, I do have normal to drier skin. So I think this foundation pretty much sounds like it would be perfect for me. And I'm always on a hunt for like that natural radiant dewy finish foundations, which I love of course, because I have more drier to normal skin. And I've been really loving that a lot of makeup brands have been releasing more of these dewier satiny natural finish foundations. So thank you so much brand. But to start off, I'm going to go ahead and use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I always love to use this. This is like one of my pretty much safe go-to primers. It is very moisturizing and I do like to just use that on one side of my face because I really want to see how the foundation is going to work compared to the side that is not one. And like I said, I did get the shade number 20 in Classic Ivory. And it's nice. It does have a pump. And I'm gonna start off with the side with the primer riser. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. And it looks like this time this was a fuller pump because half of it probably was empty, but I'm gonna do the same thing. One pump to the side that was not All right, so this is right after the first application. There's basically one pump on each side. I feel like they both pretty much look the same. It doesn't look like the primerizer really did any difference on either side. Um, I do definitely feel like it is a medium coverage. I do still kind of see like my skin. It's not super, super full coverage. I will say it's probably considered light even coverage for some people but i would consist uh, like a pretty like medium coverage like it's not a full medium but i would say it's closer to a medium than a light coverage if that makes sense i do already see that it's kind of clinging on to some dry patches and it's already settling into some of my fine lines like my smile lines around here and just a little bit underneath my eyes but i mean you know every foundation kind of settles but i just don't know if they settle this fast so I just don't know. It doesn't look like it's like radiant, 
it by any means i feel like it looks natural and that's not a bad thing i'm gonna go ahead and build up i want to pump one more time and i'm going to evenly distribute this this throughout my entire face so there it's pretty much gonna have like one and a half for each side of my face so let's go ahead and do that That it does look good I do like the way it looks it looks natural it's something that I would like to gravitate towards if I was looking for a foundation and it does have good coverage with that one and a half pump on each side so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup I'll come back to you guys my thoughts on how it looks after I apply the rest of my makeup how it basically works with my other makeup that I currently do have in my collection and how I do like it so then I'll be back guys. All right, so I'm back after applying the rest of my face and eye makeup, basically everything. I just didn't use setting spray just because I didn't really want it to kind of mix with the foundation. But so far, right after application, I feel like it's kind of dried down a little bit more. I don't powder my entire face, just to let you know. I only powder down wherever I put concealer. So it's pretty much under my eyes and just down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my chin. So that's pretty much it where I powder. So my cheeks and the top of my forehead pretty much aren't powdered. The only thing is I do use bronzer on the top of my forehead, so there is powder there. But so far for the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation, so far it looks the same. I, like I said, I do feel like it dried down a little bit. I don't feel like the color has changed so much. So I still think this is probably not my best shade. I still feel like it's a tad light for me. I feel like I need to go one more or something a little bit warmer. But other than that, I feel like the finish still looks pretty good. Um, I do see that it has settled, like I said, still settling in my fine lines and all these little crevices on my face. But other than that, I think that everywhere else, it still looks pretty good. So, um, so far, I think it looks good. It looks fine. I'm gonna definitely wear it as long as I can throughout the day. Um, it is about the afternoon right now. So I'm gonna try my best to wear it until like the eight hour mark. And I'm gonna go ahead and also show you guys what it looks like in natural lighting because obviously I am in my studio. So there's a lot of studio lighting, which doesn't look as natural as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in natural lighting. And then I'll give you guys my final update. All right, everyone, so I'm back and it's been over eight hours that I've been wearing this foundation. And I just wanna give you guys my final thoughts on the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. So first of all, here's just what it looks like after eight hours. So I hope you guys were able to see what it looked like in natural lighting without all of the studio lighting. I feel like on camera, it looks like I'm a little bit more dewy than what I think I look like in person. In person, I feel like it looks actually a little bit more matte. So like it's not super matte, but it looks um, definitely more like a natural satin finish. It does not look super dewy like I think what the camera is picking up. My only thing is what I did notice with this foundation, especially especially with this bottom area where my mouth and my chin is, it just looks really, really bad. It just looks like I have so much crevices lines. It literally settled into every single fine line on my mouth, right here on my smile lines and down here on my chin, which it looks really, really like bad. Like it looks like there's like Grand Canyon and literally waves of little just lines everywhere it literally looks horrendous and i don't think you guys were able to see it of course i can see it because it's in person and i know when a foundation looks good and when it doesn't the weird thing is everywhere else it looks fine like on my cheeks on my forehead it looks really really good so for the maybelline dream radiant liquid hydrating foundation if i had to give it a letter grade for first impression try on, I would give it a letter grade B because it did pretty much everything that it did claim. It is a very good medium coverage. You can build it up. It does last, it doesn't wear off, and it is a very nice natural, I wouldn't say radiant in my opinion. I 
worn more radiant foundations i would say it's like a satin natural finish so it does have like you can tell that it it looks natural it doesn't look super matte but it's not super dewy so i wouldn't say it's radiant i would say natural satin finish so i definitely do think that it holds the majority of its claims hi so i'm back this is actually like i want to say a good two weeks later i have tried the maybelline dream radiant liquid foundation for a good I would say four or five times now. I do have it on currently. And I wanted to give you guys like my final thoughts and review on the Maybelline Dream Ruined Liquid Foundation. So I feel like in the beginning portion of this video will be more of a first impression, try on, wear test. And those were pretty much my thoughts. But then I feel like I have tried this multiple times at this point and I want to give you guys like a good, really good review of my thoughts and opinions on the foundation after wearing it multiple times now. So overall, I do think that it's a pretty decent, good foundation if you're looking for something that is a really good medium coverage. I wouldn't say that it's radiant. I still believe that it's more like a natural finish. So I mean, it really depends what it, what do you consider as radiant. I feel like it's very subjective. For me personally, I do have dry skin. So I don't think this is radiant. I feel like it's more of a natural finish, but I actually like that. I don't mind too. Um, my only thing is with this foundation is I have seen that it settles way more into my small fine lines. Today, I feel like it looks really good and I've tried it a couple different ways. What I've noticed is if I don't use concealer and I don't set it down with the powder, especially on my small lines and my chin, it looks pretty good like today. But when I do set it and use concealer like on my small lines and my chin, then it becomes very, very emphasized. And I do know that, that is mainly because I do have fine lines there and I do have drier skin. So that can definitely play into it. But overall, I do think that it's a good decent foundation i wouldn't say it's my favorite that i've ever tried i think that if i had to choose between this one the dream radiant foundation or the fit me i would still choose the fit me the dewy one because that one is more coverage and i never have problems with like settling in my fine lines this one i think that it's nice but i don't think that it would, it's my favorite so that's pretty much my review for the maybelline dream radiant foundation i hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it other than that i'll see you next time bye guys